Star formation, a cosmic journey from dust to brilliance. In the cosmic cradle, deep in the cold expanse of space, galaxies float serenely, and nestled within them are the nurseries destined to birth stars. These molecular clouds, vast and dense, are the hidden cradles of gas and dust like the iconic Orion Nebula. Quiet and unassuming, these nurseries are occasionally stirred by the shockwaves from distant supernovae or gravitational disturbances from nearby celestial bodies, initiating the collapse of gas and dust under its own gravitational pull, marking the first step in the birth of a star, the birth of protostars. During this collapse, the cloud fragments into numerous dense clumps. Each of these fragments, rich with hydrogen and cosmic dust, heats as it shrinks, forming what we call a protostar. This early stage is defined by the protostar glowing from the conversion of gravitational energy into heat, although nuclear fusion hasn't started yet. This glow is the nascent star's first light, faint but significant, from protostar to main sequence star. The core of the protostar continues to heat up due to further contraction, reaching a critical temperature of about 10 million degrees Celsius. At this point, nuclear fusion ignites. Hydrogen atoms begin fusing into helium, releasing vast amounts of energy. This marks the official birth of the star, which now enters what's known as the main sequence phase, the longest and most stable period of its life cycle, characterized by a steady output of light and heat through nuclear fusion. The growth into red giants. As the star ages, it exhausts the hydrogen in its core, leading to the next phase of its evolution. The core contracts under gravity, heating up even more, while the outer layers expand and cool, transforming the star into a red giant. This expansion is so significant that if it were our sun, it could swallow the inner planets, including Earth. In this phase, the star burns cooler but becomes much larger and more luminous. Stellar alchemy and the birth of compact remnants. For the most massive stars, their cores evolve to fuse heavier elements, moving beyond helium to carbon, oxygen, and ultimately iron. However, iron fusion does not release energy, leading to a catastrophic gravitational collapse of the core and resulting in a supernova an explosive end that can briefly outshine entire galaxies. The final acts, black holes and neutron stars. Depending on the remaining mass after the supernova, the star's core may become a neutron star, or if massive enough, a black hole. Black holes are regions in space where gravity is so intense that nothing, not even photons of light, can escape from them. The boundary of this intense gravitational pull is called the event horizon. Exploring the mysteries of black holes, Black holes remain one of the most enigmatic features of our universe. The event horizon of a black hole marks the point of no return. Beyond this, the laws of physics as we understand them start to break down. Inside the event horizon, all matter and radiation are pulled inexorably towards the singularity, a point where space and time are infinitely distorted. Physics and speculations. Beyond the event horizon, the singularity at the center of a black hole poses a monumental challenge to physicists. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, at the singularity, gravitational forces deform space-time to an extreme, and density becomes infinite. This makes direct observation and understanding impossible with current technology and theories. Physicists also theorize about what happens to information and matter once it crosses the event horizon. One popular but still debated theory known as the information paradox, posits that information about matter swallowed by a black hole is not lost, but somehow encoded at the event horizon. This theory challenges our understanding of quantum mechanics and points to a deeper, not yet known theory of quantum gravity, which would reconcile the laws governing cosmic scales with those governing subatomic particles. In essence, black holes not only encapsulate the ultimate fate of massive stars, but also serve as cosmic laboratories, pushing the boundaries of high-energy physics, quantum mechanics, and general relativity. Exploring these enigmatic objects could one day provide breakthroughs in our understanding of the very fabric of the universe. Enigmatic giants, massive black holes. Black holes can grow to astonishing sizes, especially those that reside at the centers of galaxies, known as supermassive black holes. These giants can have masses ranging from hundreds of thousands to billions of times that of the Sun. For example, the black hole at the center of the M87 galaxy, captured in the first ever image of a black hole, has a mass about 6.5 billion times that of the Sun. To put that in perspective, the event horizon, or the point of no return of this black hole, 
has a diameter larger than our entire solar system. The largest known black holes. Some of the largest known black holes challenge our understanding of the universe's evolution. For instance, the black hole in the galaxy OJ287 weighs in at 18 billion solar masses, with an event horizon so vast it could encompass multiple solar systems. These colossal black holes not only dominate their local environments, but also have a significant impact on the formation and evolution of their host galaxies. The scale and impact of massive black holes. Massive black holes are not just cosmic oddities. They play a crucial role in shaping the cosmos. The immense gravitational pull of supermassive black holes can control the rate of star formation in galaxies and even bend light from objects behind them, an effect known as gravitational lensing. By studying these giants, astronomers hope to uncover more about the fundamental properties of our universe and the rules that govern it. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more content like this then please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.